welcome back to another video as you can see by the title this is the pros and cons of Penn State Berks as you guys may know I did attend Penn State Berks University in Reading Pennsylvania and sis it it had some ups it had some downs but it's not the best school okay and I'm gonna tell you why because because I have been getting comments and questions on my channel um, under my come with me see my campus video I'm gonna link that in the cards as well I have been getting plenty of questions about what it's really like what's the truth sis what's 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 up with Penn State Berks so I'm here to tell you guys so let's get started in no way shape or form am I like bashing the campus but this is my experience and I'm speaking from my own opinion and if you don't like it you can exit okay you can go because I feel like everyone has a different experience at college and my experience was somewhat okay and sometimes it wasn't and sometimes I feel like being at that campus paying for tuition all that stuff having debt having student loans my experience could have been just a bit better okay so yes yeah, so we're gonna start with the pros which it is a lot of pros and we're gonna start with the cons and I can tell you I think there are more cons than pros for me because my experience wasn't the best so, so my first pro Pro is the class size so I am an introvert I don't like being around large crowds of people especially when I am in a learning environment I need to focus so the class size is 24 total so that's the average class size at Penn State Berks the student to teacher ratio is 15 to 1 and that is a relatively small compared to another public university like Shippensburg University or Bloomsburg University because those universities are way bigger. So the total number of students is 2,700 students on the entire campus. That is really small compared to other Penn State campuses. So when you find a school that's very small and very intricate and very like community based, that is a good school for people who are introvert who want to thrive and stuff like that so yes the total number of students at the entire campus is 2700 by the way side note these facts are on their website i went to their website so i won't say anything unfactual about the campus other than the opinion based things um that i think are cons for pa it's 2482 students who are from pennsylvania who go to penn state berks and then out-of-state students is 261 and then international students is 41. So, the next thing um, which is a pro which is it's close to Walmart, it's close to Target and it's close to like shopping plazas so it's like close to the mall you have five below you have Foot Locker you have Victoria's Secret you have Panera Bread a cool pizza shop you have Cold Stone I love Cold Stone you have like a yogurt spot and you have like all these stores that's very close to you um at that campus so that's a pro that I found good because if I needed you know some groceries if I needed some makeup they have an Ulta so like that's a good pro for Penn State Berks um a another pro is the gym now I say the gym because they have a gym period like that's it not because it's a nice gym but because it's a gym I don't know what college campuses wouldn't have a gym but just in case there are some that don't that's why it's on the pro list because they just have a gym the next one is the library I really enjoyed the library from the time that I've used it I am NOT a library person I don't like going to the library I don't like sitting in the library but I do go to the library when I have to go so they have a lot of resources in the library you can uh, get books from other campuses other Penn State campuses shipped to you if they are not available at your campus the librarians are really nice and helpful um, they have an IT section where they fix your computers for you they link them to the Wi-Fi and you can call them like hey this is what's going on what do I do and they're really helpful um also IT has a desk where you can check out MacBook laptops um, and you can check out PC laptops so that's really good as well because if there's a less fortunate student who got to college and can't afford a laptop at the moment you can go to the library and check out a laptop and just use the laptop there for all your homework and stuff 
Um, another thing about the library is the um, research people who are there. I'm sorry that I don't know the proper title for their name, but I use them especially for my senior thesis. They are very, very, very helpful. Oh my God. I love them so much because they sit down with you. You make an appointment. They sit down with you and you sit in there, you know, they're typing and stuff to help you find papers, help you find books, help you find sources for your citations and all that stuff. So they're really good. Like I, I really enjoyed that part of the library. Another well. part of the library that I enjoy is the desktop computers as well which is macbooks and then they have dell computers it's in two separate labs and before i bought a camera and bought a macbook and all that stuff i would use their equipment and go in and start my youtube channel so that's also good because you know everybody can't afford a macbook like i just was able to buy one so everybody wasn't able to buy a macbook so you can go and edit your videos on campus so that was also a good pro for them the second to last thing that is a pro for Penn State Berks, I'm not going to say her name because I don't want to put her on blast, but I think we're here and I think she knows who I'm talking about. She's really nice. She's an amazing person. She cares for you as if you're her own children. And by the way, she does have her own kids. So it's really nice to know that she still has, you know, caring towards other students like they're her own children. She would do anything for you if you and her become you know tight cool close whatever she will really care for you okay she went out her way to do multiple things for me when i needed help she's always there when i need to ask questions she was always there if i just needed somebody to talk to she was like a second mom like she was really caring and loving and nurturing and you don't really get that much in college because some of these people just don't care about you sis i'm sorry to tell you when you go to college, some of these professors, some of these advisors, whatever you want to call them, they don't really care. They're there to do their job. Yes, some of them are there to help you, but some of them don't care. Um, The last thing I have is advisors, which is a pro. Um, The advisors at Penn State Berks were really good, honestly. Like, it's nothing to really complain about. You get an overall undergraduate advisor. Then you get a specific advisor tailored to your major. So, I mean, it was really fine. Like, they were cool as can be. Like, it was really nice. Oh, I forgot one thing. Interesting. Okay, the, okay this is the last thing. The learning center. So, they have a reading and writing learning center. And then they have, like, the math and other sciences and bio and all that stuff in a separate learning center. And these things are free. All you have to do is make an appointment and go to the appointment and they're mostly students and teachers who come in and spend their time there to teach you and help you review and get you prepared for tests and quizzes and stuff like that. And I use that a lot, especially with math. I know I have talked you guys heads off about how I hate math so much, but they are really helpful the learning centers are really good honestly like you don't miss an appointment you don't get your privilege taken away like if you go and learn and whatever it's great like it's a great 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 resource you can go get your paper edited like you can go take the paper and say hey what am i missing is this punctuation mark out of whack it it's very helpful so that is the last pro that i forgot to write on my list actually when i said advisors they're right across from each other so when i said advisors i was like oh the learning center so yes learning center great pro for penn state Berks. all right guys let's get into the cons okay <sighs> there are so many cons guys i don't know what to do all right so we're gonna start with the con that i have listed first which is housing and management staff once again these are my opinions my experiences like this isn't you know hardcore facts but I ain't got no reason a lot of y'all i graduated i got my degree over there okay housing and management staff it was like I want to say like three or four in particular who got on my nerves now i don't know if they still gonna be there when you guys attend but and i can't i'm not gonna say their names because i don't have time for that i don't have time for drama some people are plain rude and ignorant some people just don't know how to talk to students and i feel like when you're in housing management when you're accepting money for housing when you're doing all these things you have to have a certain level of customer service and they did not have that i could tell you that now okay 
they made me so mad with multiple situations so little story time one situation was the lights in the dorm room started going out right and we are not allowed to have candles we can get a flashlight or whatever but the lights randomly went out in the middle of the night and they were you know flickering and stuff coming back on eventually when the generators kicked in hours after but the lights will go off so nobody knew what was going on i didn't think to like oh let me go see because it wasn't like that serious but when it happened for the second night in a row and nobody said anything like the school didn't send out an email saying hey our electricity is having problems or whatever nobody said nothing so this has been two days this has happened back to back so i go to the cafeteria regular about my day get some food and then i see the housing manager the main housing manager so i say hey let's call him bill right i said hey bill um you know the lights have been going in and out in the middle of the night and i it's been flickering you know what's going on like do we have to be worried whatever he's this is bill's response bill's response is off the bat i don't know what you're talking about i know my building i be here i live here i i know everything that goes on in this building i don't know what you're talking about you're wrong that's exactly his response guys and i'm like First of all, why are you so defensive if this we're talking about your child or something? Like, why are you so defensive? We're I'm just asking you and about the lights. Like I'm telling you something is happening and you think you know everything. So his butt got burned because when I went to work, mind you, I told you I worked at the residence life desk. When I went to work, they had a meeting. I didn't know what the meeting was about. I wasn't allowed in the meeting. So the meeting was about the lights flickering, right? Now, mind you, he automatically jumped to conclusions and was like, I don't know what you're talking about. I know everything about my building. Oh, Bill, you know everything? All right, well, let's see if you know everything. So he went into the meeting and he comes out looking all stupid, do 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 walk in towards the desk and was like oh you know i apologize um i didn't know that this was happening and you know i apologize for the way that i answered you oh now you apologize well guess what i don't accept your apology because you shouldn't have reacted that way you are housing and management staff you supposed to know what's going on and i'm not saying no you gotta know everything but if somebody's coming to you telling you hey this is going on why you gotta be rude why and they're like this with every single student i don't know what goes on i don't know if they feel like we're children i don't know if they feel like we're lying i don't know if they feel like we're after them or after their jobs or something i have not one idea but what i can tell you is they have no type of customer service they're rude and they're nasty and this is not the first situation i had about four situations not just with bill with other people but i had about four situations with housing and food staff face to face where they got smart or they had an attitude about something for no reason um the next con is the laundry rooms and locations it's not a big big deal but you know they could have placed out these laundry rooms a little better life i lived in evergreen um and the third floor had no washrooms on my side the second floor had one washroom on the, on my side and then the first floor i don't think they had washrooms on the first floor on this side so it's only one washroom one one laundry room on all three floors of this one side right so aggravating because i would have to catch the elevator down to the second floor to go wash my clothes stay down there do all the clothes come back upstairs which is no problem like i survived like it's not a big deal if you look at a map of penn state burks it's the middle mail room that has washers and dryers in there but you have to leave your dorm to go to those washers and dryers if it's raining if it's cold if it's snowing what you gonna do but you're gonna walk out with all your laundry you're dragging your laundry like you hitchhiking to go to a laundry room to wash your clothes that's not fair okay and it's definitely not no washrooms laundry rooms whatever inside the village where it's separate dorms like our dorm in the woods is one big dorm inside the village they're like separate little houses no no laundry rooms why somebody gotta leave their room just to go to the laundry like that's aggravating like i feel like that's just a little bit tedious so the next con is the dorm rooms themselves um i like the dorm rooms the dorm rooms was perfectly fine i had one of the bigger dorm rooms just the way it was structurally made um but the heating and cooling system within the dorm rooms was aggravating because when you turn your heat on you go into the upper numbers like 75 
77, 80, something like that, right? You, you go into the upper numbers. For Penn State Berg's heating system, you had to go to the lower numbers. You had to turn on the air in order to get heat. They would have the maintenance come into everybody's room. When you give permission, whether you're there or not, they still will go in your room and go into there and fix the heating cooler system. And, and we would have this problem like every three months. And maintenance people would complain to the students. Like, it was so aggravating. Like, why is your own staff talking about you? Like, you can't even... You can't even get it together with your staff. Like, it would... And can you imagine how the students felt? So, like, the heating and cooling system sucks. All right. Oh. So, the next con is the cleaning. So, at first, it was fine. And they cleaned our bathrooms. Just the bathrooms. Every two weeks. Which was perfect. Like, perfect. Because in between, we would clean them ourselves. And then, they'll come and clean it. Now, all of a sudden, my senior year, wasn't my junior year, my junior year and senior year, they decide to do it once a month. And it was like, what's the reason for it? They never gave us a reason. They didn't care that we, that it was an issue for us. And it was honestly nasty because for the people who shared communal bathrooms, yes, there were communal bathrooms, especially in the village where I lived my freshman year, that would get so disgusting because it would be 16 girls. 16 females to two bathrooms and y'all only cleaned it once a month like i only could imagine how it was over there but thankfully i lived in the woods after my freshman year so i wasn't i wasn't dealing with that as much as they were but i still felt bad for them because now everybody got to figure out a schedule to clean and i know how people are some people don't do what they're supposed to do so it probably led to confrontation which they could have easily avoided by keeping the schedule to twice or every two weeks so now the food in the cafe oh my god the worst food ever they're so disgusting they're so nasty they're trifling i'm sorry but it disgusted me okay now for me my freshman year obviously i didn't know anything i was eating their food like crazy i gained pounds okay pounds on top of pounds because i was eating their food it was my freshman year i thought it was so delicious i didn't know anything about the cleanliness of it so i was just eating when i found out they were cross-contaminating pork and turkey and beef and all this stuff um they didn't change their gloves and most of the workers who made the food had an issue with you asking them hey can you change your gloves because you touch pork and i don't want pork or whatever they had an issue with it you can see it all over their faces that they had attitudes that you asked them can you change your gloves like sis i don't care and they would bring people in who didn't even know what the hell they were doing like they would ask me questions when i'm ordering stuff they would ask me questions oh where do they keep that at where where do you find that excuse i don't work here why am I telling you where to find the cheese? Like, I'm sorry, I, I, I don't know where to find the cheese. I, just, I don't know. So why are you asking me? Oh, I interviewed a student, okay? I'm not gonna put her up here. I'm not gonna say her name. I interviewed a student who used to work at Tully's. That's our, that's their cafe name, um, the cafeteria. She told me the little months that she, I think she only worked there for three months. It was so trifling. They cut like onions and peppers and stuff on a table, not on a cutting board. Like they'll just cut it on a bare table that hasn't been cleaned. She also told me that one time she had to bring out like a loaf of bread for something or like buns for like the hamburgers and stuff that they pre-make and stick in the little heater things um she told me that she told the chef hey this bread is like moldy or whatever like what do you want me to do with it and she said that the chef was like just dig inside the loaf of bread and pick out the ones that doesn't have mold on them and serve the rest like and she was like she couldn't do it like she's not going to do that and she quit right then and there it's no reason for this girl to lie it's no reason for me to lie so i'm just letting you guys know that this is how trifling how nasty they were okay and why would you serve students moldy bread i don't give a hell if it was seven pieces that wasn't moldy you throw that whole thing away because that is contamination like that's like you can get sick from that and i have known other students who have gotten sick from eating tullies it was just it, it was a mess and when i found all this stuff out starting my sophomore year i stopped eating tullies like i will only eat packaged foods like pre-packaged foods like hot pockets 
or microwavable dinners that they would have um from the like supermarket i'm not eating nothing from tully that y'all cooking with y'all hands because y'all are nasty and y'all don't care so that's a definite con for Tully's they were trifling and then we got from another worker that it was bugs inside the little you know soda machines like if you go to McDonald's and you pick high C coke uh sprite it was bugs inside the container from her working there like I just don't understand why y'all are not clean like y'all are serving people it's so disgusting so I just stopped eating and drinking everything if it wasn't prepackaged and coming from Wally Mart or something I don't want it I'm not eating it and I haven't eaten there since then. I will always go shopping. I will cook my food. I'm not eating nothing else from y'all because it was so, it was just, it was trifling, okay? I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it and I didn't appreciate the cleanliness that they kept around our food. And another con is the lockout process. Now this recently changed. Um, the previous lockout process was the RAs who lived on your floor or the RAs that was on duty, they would um, come and go get the key, sign something and come unlock your door if you accidentally lock yourself out of your dorm room. Fairly simple, fairly easy and they were always quick with it, right? Now, for you to get unlocked you have to call the campus police mind you these are not security guards these are not security officers with flashlights these are real cops like police okay and i just didn't understand i felt like from a student standpoint whether i'm a freshman or a senior i felt like what's the point of that like i felt kind of intimidated like why am i calling the cops to come unlock me from my dorm room like I just feel like that was just so like extra like it was unneeded and they changed that process and it was way more complicated because you only could call during certain times certain days and it's like well why can't you just make the RAs unlock like why what are they doing what else are they doing with their lives as RAs that they can't do the lockout process so maybe it's some underlying reason behind it that I never knew about but from what I see from me being a student and them not relaying information to the students the the way that they should it's stupid honestly and I don't want a cop unlocking a door like it's just weird like they come in with their vest and their guns and all that and they're walking through the dorms like who's locked out like and I'm pretty sure most of them had a damn attitude um because I've talked to people most of them have had an attitude when it's time to unlock students because they got to come all the way from campus security whatever they at across campus to come unlock us at one what if you get locked out one o'clock in the morning like so unnecessary the next um con is the bookstore so the bookstore is very expensive um it's a part of or have a partnership with barnes and noble on penn state berks's campus it's so expensive compared to amazon Chegg, or wherever else students get their books i always got my books from amazon unless it was a book that was brand new and only exclusive to the penn state bookstore but i feel like Honestly, college is a business. If you think about it, it's money, 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 money. Like, that's all that they seem like they want. So, um, yeah, the bookstore was mad expensive. Literally, let's just um, say these packs of flashcards, right? This pack, this is like 100 flashcards. These flashcards at Walmart would be $3. The flashcards, the same thing, same exact brand, same exact count. At Penn State Bookstore, same cards same count same everything would be twelve dollars for some flash cards why why is this twelve dollars when i can go to wally mart and get it and then y'all get mad when nobody buying nothing from the bookstore or y'all bookstore is doing bad like it just makes no sense a sweatshirt oh my god a sweatshirt like a penn state sweatshirt would be 74 dollars at the bookstore when you can go on amazon and get it for 34 like it just doesn't make sense why it's so expensive i feel like the stuff on campus is not for or made for college students nobody's rich like everybody's not rich in college some people did have you know some money and nice cars on campus but everybody doesn't have that so it was very inconvenient for what if people just don't have the money what you do like make your own flashcards out of pieces of paper yeah but like damn i'm in college like i need flashcards and why are they so damn expensive at this store the damn next con i would say is the sports the sports is really corny okay um some of the sports are okay like basketball for male and female 
I don't think they went a lot. So you couldn't get into the spirit like, oh yeah, blue and white pride or whatever, you know, like it just was corny at Penn State Berks. Like if you want that type of a rise, you want like that spirit of school spirit, go to a different campus or don't go to Penn State at all. I don't know. But Penn State Berks, you don't get that. You can't paint your face with blue and white and go to a basketball game and have fun. Like, you can't go to a tailgate and have fun. Because there definitely was no parties. There definitely was no alcohol allowed, which is fine. But most schools, when you're above age, you can drink. Like, not that, not that serious. There was no parties. There was no loud music. There was no nothing. Like, you couldn't do anything at Berks. Like, it's so boring. And I'm like, telling you, I'm not even a party person, but that was a different level of boredom. Next thing is the fact that it is a small campus um, that goes hand in hand with the boring part. It's very small. When I say it's nothing to do, it's nothing to do. Like, if you don't want to be bored out your mind, you got to have a car because they no longer have the van service. and that's corny like they took away the van service now you're not recruit you don't have no incentives for people to come to your school i'm sorry for people who want to attend penn state berks i'm sorry if i'm crushing your dreams of going to penn state berks but don't do it i'm sorry i would not if i had a chance to redo college my four years guess where i'll be going another school not even i wouldn't even go to a penn state school i would go to another school like that's how bad it was. Like, um, it's like a few clubs on campus that are worthwhile. Now, when I say a few clubs on campus, I'm not counting the clubs associated with your major. I don't want to be in Kines Club. I don't want to be in Mathematics Club. I don't want to be in Robotics Club. Like, it was one club that I did join that I was a treasurer for. It was the Blue and White Society. And that was really cool. We did great events and all that. The other club is called Cab, which is really good. They did events on campus. And that was really enjoyable. But all the other clubs, there is none. It's non-existent. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and make sure you turn on the post notification bell so you know when you get updates that I have uploaded a new video. So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.